I'm Sir TapTap, and welcome back to High Swap. Last time we found we needed batteries. I you need some D cell. I think we have D cells. Yes, we have now fully operated our uh, weapon here. An electric device successfully powered through manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire. With your flashlight fully functional and fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments, and also to beat the bejesus out of any of those creeps who get too close. Well, that's the last resort, of course. I, mean, I guess flashlights are fairly heavy for their, you know, size, but... I'm not sure I'd call it a weapon. Oops, I think I missed the first part of that there. Right at the end of this video, I get to treat myself to, um... Super Blood Moon, I believe it's called. It's a cool, uh, lunar eclipse going on today. I still, I took a peek just before this video. It's getting... It's getting there. It's half obscured, half, like, super bright. It's looking good. It'll be, uh, I don't think I've ever gotten to see one. Unfortunately, my phone camera, I tried taking a picture of the, at least the current moon. Um, it's pretty, you know, phone cameras aren't the best low light, so. I'll see if I can get a good picture of it, or at least a picture of it, but. I should get a proper camera one of these days. Look, you're not saying you've never have home quick meals. Your babysitter's a very good chef, even. It's just, well, now you like doing dishes. The nice thing about takeout is you can just eat it right out of the boxes and throw the boxes away. Of course, no one really like taking the trash out either. Oh my gosh, guys. It's like a hoarder paradise in here. Well, it's not really a hoarder tier quite yet. But definitely a couple steps above, you know, bachelor pad. You know, even I would be ashamed to have this level of mess. I'm definitely a few tiers below this. Speaking of takeout, the they had a really good Chinese place just just by the uh, supermarket or just by the, the grocery store you just go to, and uh, shut down. They, they, their lease ended and they just freaking left. I don't know if they were having money, monetary troubles, but it was a really it was a really popular place. Really liked going there and it's just gone. It sucks. All the really good places that I found, like all the good local food, has always shut down. There's a really good. Uh, um, a Chinese and Cantonese place, um, and everyone I knew that was like really skeptical about it, but they they were fantastic, and they're gone. They're Jimmy John's now. No way, no way. You did them last time. It's Jude's turn now. You know what? After he completely ditched you for the treehouse earlier, maybe it could be Jude's turn for quite some time now. monsters out there watching working up an appetite open the window all those monsters out there you think you'd rather leave it shut also you don't actually know how to open this window short of breaking it that's the way to open any window oh, why ew it's like rotted off I really don't want to go out there right now tempting as it is to go rake more leaves uh, to prevent forest fires ah the struggle of the monsters are bothered leaf pile enthusiast you meant to keep making, starting a zine. Oh, by the way, apparently the monsters are new for this game. I, we did a premiere of the first video of this and I was educated on a few Homestuck lore. Deepest lore. And that's why the trash is piled ne next to the fridge. Even animals know it better than let their food fraternize with their waste. Yeah. Yeah. Home sweet home. This. That, that is a fancy rigging up for an animal that will live for, like, two years. <laughs> That's... Yeah, I don't... I just don't get those as pets. I think guinea pigs live a little bit longer. The, there's some... Ooh! Magic spice mix! Heck yes. Of course everybody knows there's no such thing as magic. It's all fake with chemicals and stuff. So those chemicals are delicious. Mysterious chemical possesses... Processes that produce powder from silver nubs, these batteries. They don't need any assistance from your sweet or your savory. But what about my spice? You'd, you'd hate pogs because they're bland. You don't hate pogs because they're bland. That'd be a relief. They're so in your face and intense and radical, you can't stand them. Turn 12 already, pogs. Nah, they're already irresistible to pretty much all animals. Why gild a lily? Is that a is that a turn of phrase? Moo. 
by the way, one thing that apparently makes English so incredibly... Well, maybe not incredibly, but particularly difficult to learn is just how many freaking metaphors and stuff we use. Uh, it's hard to really, like, even... Like, I never even really think about it until it's pointed out, but yeah, we use... We use a lot of uh, metaphors and stuff. A very lot of non-literal stuff that sounds very strange. Hyper skins, yes. Yes. Meow. Hi. Not all language is, like lack that either, but I don't think Japan or Japanese rather does it nearly as much. Japanese has so few uh, synonyms. It's kind of it's strange to me. Precious heirloom is already quite magical, thank you. You have no desire to eat it. Hmm. Can I powder my uh, flashlight? If you run down the battery, you have no idea where you get more. Better save it when you really need it. You don't really have any strong feelings about trying your spice mix with your tap dancing or whatever, so you're just going to list some words that might be either spices or tap dancing terms. Bomber shay. Grapevine. Tanglefoot. I know that one. That one's, that one's a dance. Riffle. Cumbalona. I don't think any of these are spices. I'm pretty sure none of these are spices. Now, how many of those were tap and how many spice? Give up. All tap. Tap dancing is wild. None of those even sound like spices, though. Except for maybe grapevine. But not really, because grapevine... Not very spicy. Mr. Spider is, like, a permanent resident here. He's, He's just out in the open. He's loud. He's proud. Just don't even... Just don't even front. Basement time. Whoa. That sting, though. I'm, I'm gradually learning musical terms. I would like to be more musically competent and stuff. I think, in terms of, I like to analyze video games and stuff. I would say the major aspect that I lack, I mean, I am a programmer, I'm a designer. Um, I don't do art, but I think I understand art reasonably well enough, I mean. Um, I've studied art to some degree, and, um, but music is the one thing that really does elude me more than any of the others. It's a machine designed to take your clothes and wash them. You can call it a washing machine. It serves a purpose admirably. On the rare occasion, a human being is willing to cooperate. All neat and folded. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is obviously dirty. Your pa brought this home as a souvenir. That is a small night. There's nobody inside it. It's kind of like a metaphor, you guess? Eh. Not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing life as if it was a work of fiction. You sure? Oh. I, I miss these big foreground props. Uh, a lot of point and clicks had some nice foreground stuff. Uh, if you want to see me play another point and click, um, I have a full playthrough of um, Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness. Um, childhood game, absolutely loved it, and Parker is getting really dangerously close to the keyboard, so let me move that, there we go. Um, loved that game, and it was really cool. I beat it for the first time in that stream, so, because it didn't work on my, I it only got so far and it crashed on my PC, so it was one of my favorite games. Super influential game for me, like, really helped shape my sense of humor and my, my sense of, like, what was really interesting, and, like, an adventure and, like, world building. Um, but I couldn't beat it, and that just honestly made it more mysterious to me because I couldn't, I could never get to the end, so I just kind of had to imagine, and you know, pieced all this stuff together. And it's, it's a really cool game, but it's like a mixture of like Russian folklore stuff, and you don't really see that a lot in games. It's pretty cool. Each of the Quest for Glory games is kind of a different mythos from a different um, region, so it's a pretty interesting series to go through. I've only beaten the first one, but I have, or I mean the fourth one rather, but um, I got a pack from Good Old Games that has all four of them, or five, there's five of them. But yeah, check that out, just search tap tap, quest for glory, Google it, um, there'll be a playlist. I think there's three videos. I love mustaches, your, your babysitter, I don't know why Kermit's happening here quite honestly. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your pa's special reserve and she has tends to do it down here so you and Jude don't see. Are we sure what to say about it? Do you have any business to say anything about it at all? I, I'm pretty sure drinking your dad's assumedly expensive hooch, as well as being an alcoholic babysitter, are things you should say things about, yes. Confront people about the bad stuff in their life, in my opinion. They'll never get better. I... 
I know some people with some real... Some real shit in their brains that I wish I had confronted. I... I got so bad, I just had to cut them out completely. Um, your friends never get better unless you confront them. And sometimes... Sometimes it's bad enough they shouldn't be your friends anymore. So... Yeah. Forgotten skiing stuff. No basement is complete without it. And your extremely limited experience. Yeah, never went skiing. I could have gone one time, but I decided I, I chickened out. How much fun can you have your first time skiing, though? Because, like, you know you're just going to screw it up. I never really liked the cold super much anyway. I prefer the summer so much more. Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food. The great mystery. I love how it clicked like a, a baseball bat or like an oar. And she's talking about food. I think it's the box with... Who gets like themed boxes to store stuff? I just realized they're, they're like... Dairy Queen spoons. Oh, now I want Dairy Queen. It's it's ten it's 10.30 at night. I can't get Dairy Queen. Can I? Can I get Dairy Queen? When does Dairy Queen close? Dairy Queen times. Dairy Queen's located near you. Closed. Ugh! Opens 11 a.m. It's fairly late. Fan food, not fast food. What does that mean? That's, that doesn't mean anything. Whatever. Anyway, I, Dairy Queens, if you get the ones that have, like, actual, like, food at them, not just ice cream, um, they have this Spicy Boy Burger that's actually pretty good. It's like Volcano Burger or something. Uh, it goes great with the ice cream. Um, I recommend it. I haven't had that in years. I'm gonna have to have that at some point. What was with the blue women? Is this some kind of deviant art tier fetish? Pa loves his blue lady's portrait so much he keeps redundant backups scattered around. <laughs> because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location, right? Decide not to pull the psychological thread because you have important work to do. And who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? I understand that, I guess. I got, um... I tried to get... Ugh. Whenever I get rubber strap, like, um, keychain things, which I haven't put on my new keychain for quite some time, but I try to get two if it's a character I really like, because if I put it on my keychain, it'll get worn and, like, discolored slightly over time. Uh, I learned that with the first set, and I couldn't get, I got an Aetna from Disgaea 1, and, um, I had to stop using it because it started getting pant colored. Like, it's just, I wear blue jeans a lot, so it got kind of blue. And I, I stopped using it so I wouldn't damage it too much. And so now when I get rubber straps, I always get two. So I can wear one and I just keep one in my uh, figure case. So I have it, you know, for collectibleness. I, I kind of got off my collector's kick. I, I kind of love games. I, I, I This is the sort of video that will either really interest you or just bore you to tears. Because I just it just makes me think. Um, it's that nostalgia kind of thing. It just makes you want to talk about stuff in your life. It's a taxidermy narwhal. See, I, I don't have any nostalgia for taxidermy narwhals, but uh, otherwise, yes. Your pa brought it back with him from the Arctic. He sure gets around. The, the, I, don't, I don't know if narwhals are pink, though. And also, it's, that is a horrifying face, but... I guess it goes with the, the theme of this spooky basement. I never had a spooky basement. I mean, I have a spooky basement now. Well, actually, I no longer have a spooky basement. Uh, I got my spooky basement fixed up, and it's actually, like... I mean, it's still a basement, but the walls are no longer collapsing. There doesn't appear to be leaks anymore, and we got rid of the spiders. It's it's acceptable, and I have to go down there every once in a while um, for, you know, tornadoes and stuff. So it's nice to have a nice basement, actually. But when I was a kid, we had a pretty legit basement, actually. Still a basement, but it was one of the major rooms in the house, actually. Anyway. Luckily for him, it's a big house to dump off the animal sea birders. The kids don't want to raise. I don't. <coughs> sneeze into your um into your elbow, by the way. Don't sneeze like into your hand. Random advice. I just scared Parker. You sneeze too. You sneeze. Don't you judge me. Don't you judge me. Um. 
For him, he has his big house to dump off the animals he murders and the kids he doesn't want to raise. Oh, I get it. Oh, it's insulting his dad, not the, uh, her dad, not the, uh, narwhal. Also, this chain is, like, moving. What even is this? I can't believe I can't click on it. I'm not gonna talk about the hula girls? It's who maybe from Pilot Trips to Hawaii. Hawaii and Alaska are two of the few states I haven't been. Been to California, Seattle, um, Florida, and uh, Maine. And various places in between. Never to Texas, or pretty much any of the south other than Florida. Not really. <laughs> I can do without that, frankly. Um, and to Colorado, but Alaska and Hawaii, always a bit. We would always drive, so. Other than to California. Did we drive to Seattle? I forget. Been a while. Anyway. Souvenir for your pod for trip to Hawaii. He's been exploring the Pacific a lot lately for some reason. Somebody mentioned offhandedly a few years ago. So we still doing that due to not having any fresher data. Particularly caring one way or another where the hell he is. You can't say hell. You gotta say heck. Alright. Pause. Strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker band ever. Oh, that's that's what that is. I knew that re resembled a brand. But it just makes me think of those, um, without the th logo on it, it just makes me think of the, the red plastic spoons they give you to Dairy Queen. This musky old junk consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Does Davy Crocker, do they make cooking implements? I thought they just made, like, you know, cake mix and stuff. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of the stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way, you can't reach the circuit breaker. Oh, I just realized there's a reason to come to the basement, because the power is out. Uh, try not to try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come pile tumbling down. You need to find and move all of them once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble, that's take it. That sounds even more dangerous, but okay. See, I told I told you. Oh. Never mind, it somehow worked. We get cutscene for our trouble. Oh. <laughs> we get a static image for our trouble, rather. Flip the breaker. Flip the breaker and... Hooray! Oh, spooky basement. What? Why are you scared? The light is on. Oh. <laughs> it's somehow even worse with the lights on. Oh, hello! Uh oh. What? What is this? Wait, combat? Wait, for real? Strife! You've got no chance of beating this thing. Get away. Step on it. Shuffle and scoot. Shakes for the memories. Lego of the past. Oh my god. Graceful abscond. Prima abscond, Joe. I, ju I just. What? I was freaking ballerina. I pirouetted past it. Wow. Power back on. You doing... You doing psyops or encroaching forces over? Give you back light only to snatch it away. Describe hypothetical. Very cruel. Dealing with sick operations. Uh, over. No, it was just me. Criminy, Jude. Criminy? That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast Wily. But sister already established superior wiliness attribute over. Yeah, thanks, I think. Trophy room should be trivial obstacle over. Wait, what? Add a key, Joey. Eyes in the prize, keep me in loop over and out. Can I move this? W where is this trophy room then? Can I escape through the doggy door? Your sweet loyal dog loves that flap. Jude used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. We tried to have a cat flap for our house. Raccoon came in. Never. <laughs> no. Do not recommend cat flaps. Unless you have like a completely enclosed yard. Or somehow live somewhere without raccoons. Did you know that Japan imported raccoons as like pets? They're not pets. Oh, this is apparently the- th Oh, no, God. Hello. Oh, that has too many legs. I don't like that. <laughs> that face, though! Hit it. 
Light on your feet. Oh. Light bite. Cho cho choose your battles. Do do the taps. Ta tap tap its freaking face off. Tapetizer. Main roars. Oh my god. The, the, I didn't. Jaw, you ready for this? Are we really doing puns here? Please excuse me. Oh my god. Chew to tango. Better luck next time. Guys, what do I do? I haven't saved in like a billion years. Main roars. I don't know if I can die. Bite your luck next time. Just freaking beat its skull in! Uh, uh, light bite. Nothing seems to work. What? Jaw, you ready for this? I have attempted like everything. Nothing, nothing works. Can I spice it up? Well, I mean, it's it wants, it looks hungry. So can I, can I feed it? Opening course. Oh! Flesh rise on the prize. You freaking bash its skull in. No. Feed it a pog. Fruitless endeavor! Here we go. Make mine a double. That's not gonna do anything! Why is that? It doesn't seem to be going well. Oh, there we go. We just wanted it out of the room. Treat to a pulp. What? Alright, monster inflictively death scene averted. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. Yes. Congratulations, you've ascended to rung two, obtained rank of tail wagging Treya. Tyro? Max HP increased by 12, muscle increased by 7. Congratulations, you've ascended to rung three. <laughs> it's just like the Kirby battle. Peppy Patter. Master Noggin Bop. Hubris increased by four. <laughs> Courtesy decreased by two. So where was the key in this desk or something? We'd never leave critical item in such obvious location over. Well, okay, but like, where do you leave it? Just had to lure the hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother or sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If you compromise, can I distract compromise measures over unsecured line? Utilize puddle skill set over. Fine. Go back to assistance for it over now. She has a lot of guns. I was just about to ask, like, <laughs> did you not close the door? But I guess the door quietly closed by magic. It's exactly the sort of thing you wish was in your house. Why couldn't your pod just leave the regular eyes in? More importantly, leave the head attached to their body. You should put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? That's weird. Oh, puzzle time, I see. So, Katana, you have no idea what to do on wait. Maybe we'll just throw it away. Why would you do that? No! Do not throw away the glorious Nipponese steel. Equip armor, hell yes! It's a little out of season. How dare you? Why do you have, like, a conspiracy globe in the middle of the room? Hey, Ra. Or, Horus. Wh whichever one. This is a uh, Horus, you think? You're not up to your Egyptology. What is that? As an Algebriju, a folk art mon monster from Oxa Oxaca, Mexico, carved out of the wood of the copal tree. This little thing used to creep you out. Really bad until your baby sister suggests you learn more about it. Found out they're based on monsters and artists saw in his dreams. And ever since then, he's seen a lot more friendly. There's a Daruma. Don't know what he's doing with the, all this. 
Well, I guess it's just kind of everything. There's a ship. There's a turtle. What's up, dear? As if being dead weren't bad enough, your pot replaces eyes with them. Creepy glass orbs. Light reflecting their faceted stare gives you the creeps. Are you crazy? Is there some light reflecting off his antler, too? Bears closer examination. Pull the antler. His eyes pop out. Oh! Jude can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? Over. I turn on a laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. Thought you were doing pu thought you were puzzle master. Was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on, over. I believe this calls for Burns. McGruff crime dog experiencing trouble? Unbelievable, over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Please respond if ice required. Over. <laughs> nice try, dork. If you're a real tactician, you'd manage to get your burns out the first try instead of requesting do-overs. Pride wounded but unable to protest. Have informed mildly contentious banter. Cornerstone of squad camera camaraderie, over. Uh, yeah, okay. How am I supposed to solve this thing? It's clearly solve a puzzle thing that calls to be- Use marbles, over. Thinking as hard as I can. You know I don't like puzzles. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None nearby, over. No. Oops, over. You are now Jude. I'm- I'm- I'm now Jude. Okay. No, tonight's apparently not even preparing for. Laying so many preparations, countermeasures, and countermeasures against. It seemed to be a mere tactical blunder. That is a long boy right there. That is a long pigeon. I don't like that pigeon at all. He's doing that... He looks like he's doing... Hold on. Uh, let me find a non-terrible meme of this. Terrible meme. Why are these- why- why can't I find a clean one of this? See, inhaling- inhaling seagull. Why can't I find one without somebody's shitty opinion on it? This is why memes are actually bad. Okay, these are all bad. Close enough. This is... This was an endeavor not worth my time. Doesn't he look kind of like this? Oh, I can't. I should probably switch to... When his head goes down, I just imagine him doing this. Though he's a pigeon, not a seagull. Anyway, that was thoroughly not worth either of our time. The marbles that Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Oh crap. Tentacle and the lone gunbirds. Look at this look at this puffy beast right here. When the heat is on from the government, you need to send out encrypted message while staying off the grid. You entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons. Am I like Dale Gribble? That's actually pretty cool. I hope I have pocket sand. There's Langley Byers and of course Fro. Froki? Fro... 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 Froike. Dear sweet Froike, you, you adore him, you cherish the wind he flaps. Tactical error. Consolidated all marbles here in t Treehouse to prevent attic key from falling into wrong hands. Over. Additionally... Forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern, putting an agent on it. Over. Wait, who... Did you get in touch with one of your friends, or... Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. <laughs> I love his worried face. That's adorable. All right. Next episode, we are apparently going to be Jude. I think this deserves a new save slot. So, <laughs> I like this kind of like shifting perspectives thing. <laughs> I like his little buck teeth. All right. Next time, we're going to learn what it means to be Jude. As loud jib tune, I guess. Music is in the background.